Right, good morning everyone. Now, uh, Jane Robinson has asked me to make uh, some of the bookmarks in black and silver. So I've got some silver beads and uh, quite a few black ones here that I can uh, dig into. I've got some black lace as well, the black ribbon. And I've also got this, it's not silver, but it's, it's silverish looped thread. Uh, like a, with a rose pattern, black rose pattern. So yeah, um, and I've got these as well, which I've fished out. That's blue, so I don't want that one. Um, I've got that one, which I can use for a dangle. That's gorgeous. Isn't it? They're all glass. I've also got this that I took off a um, jewellery. And I'm thinking of somehow being able to put a loop in here and add in that as well. But what I might do is just take this off. I don't want this on. So it's coming off. I don't need that. So let's have a look. So I might need that to anchor that flower down. Because that's gorgeous, black and silver. So it's beautiful. So I'm going to have a bash and see what we can do. I've got some different size beads. Some crystals. Lots of crystals and that. And we'll have a go and see what we can do. I do like the idea of doing, uh, you know, other colours. I've also got some uh, these. I know they're white, but um, we've got some the metal beaded pearl. And what else have I got? I've got some beaded string that I can use. I've also got some chiffon if I want to make a bow, which I think I'll make a bow first. Not sure what it'll turn out like. Probably rubbish. <laughs> I do have bow makers, can't find them, so there you go. I'm just going to basically take a piece of the chiffon and make a knot in the middle, like that. Take that end and that. Tie that over. Pull it through like I'm making a bow. Come on through, mate. And I don't want a large one, so it has to be reduced in size, obviously. Like that. And then I can cut the length. See, I just want to keep getting that smaller and smaller until I've got the size I need. And I think that will do. But there's the knot. So that's the problem. That's it. No, I think that's fine. And I'm just going to cut it there hold these together cut the v in them oops and this one as well that's it i mean i may not use it but I've got a couple of orders to do this morning, which I shall be doing shortly. And I've answered the emails on the shop. Now, where did I put my things? Let me just sort myself out. There we are, I've got those. I don't want that one. I've got these. So. Uh, I did start, didn't I, to turn that one over. And I'm going to add, she wants silver. So I'm going to grab a silver one. And put that on. I want a smaller one, a little bit smaller. I might use the medium one. That's better, I like that. So I need my um, pliers. Where did I put my pliers? I thought I might as well, I know you've seen me do them, but uh, Jane likes to see what I do. So I like to film it when I'm doing it for customers, if I can. Okay, we're going to do that. It don't want to go, this one. Hang on. So you have to get them, clamp it in, move it over. There we go. Move that over a little bit more. Pull it. That's it. 
system. And we just clamp that in place like that. Now, I'm not sure, Jane, what I've got um, in regards to black. Uh, let me just see. You know, for the top bit, uh, the page stopper, what I call Oh, yeah. See? I've got some black roses. I've also got that. Just to do the page stopper. I think I've got another one. There, there were earrings. Oh, look, I've got a little black rose as well. It's amazing what you find. Um when you're looking for things and I've got that that's a charm can hang we've got oh that's gorgeous that's going to be one of those isn't it I just want to make sure I get everything I need and like she says she's having black and silver so that's okay but I do want to make sure that I'm giving her the right you know thing that I know Jane likes because Jane, I make a lot of handmade things for Jane. Right, so I will stop cluttering around, uh, clattering around in that. I just want to make sure that I have those three of those. I want three of those. Yep, yeah, that's fine. I'm happy with what we've got. Okay, so we've two of those. Like I said, Jane, I use them and I protect them off of things, but there's two there with that, that and that. And let's have a look, see what we can do. Right, so right now I'm just going to put one of the roses on. It has a silver background. That is just... It's a bit harder when you're looking at uh, black. But that's your page stopper. And then on this end, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some bits to hang off it. Now, let me just find out what I've got. I found this earlier, which I thought would be nice to make into something. And then we can just attach it back on, just like that. So I'm going to hang some things. So now I've got to make five different droplets. So I'm just going to move them bits out of the way. Like that. I think that's what I'm going to do. So then I need to cut that. Again, bend it back. And then bend it forward. And attach that to that one. That's it. Oh, yes. Pretty. Okay, we need to do that same thing again. Black, silver bead. And then the teardrop. And I need to cut this. A bit shorter than that. And we're going to pop that 
on there. No, I'm not. Because <laughs> I've just thought it needs to do like a drop, if you know what I mean. So it's longest in the middle, then shorter to the ends as you work outwards. So that's fine like that. And I just think we need a shorter one here. But I'm going to go... Shall I? Yes, I like that one. That's better. Do I want the crystal on the bottom? Maybe. Let's try that. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I like that. I like the uh, different shapes of them, you see. So I need to cut that down. Pull that back. Pull that forward. Attach that there. That's better. And we've got different ones like that. That's what I like. So I'm going to do that again. Put the black one on. So they've all got the same of those. Um, then what did I do? Put the round one on. Is that the same size? I need to make sure. Oops. They're kind of like, yeah, that don't look as flat for some reason. I may have to change it. Is that the same? Yeah, that looks more like it. Let's just test this out. Buddy L. With the big crystal. These are gorgeous crystal. I've had them a long time. I don't actually use them often. Let's just pop that onto there. There, that pretty, different. That's a nice one. Right, okay, so we've got that. So then um, I've got to now pop that on, yeah. Now I'm not gonna put any more than that on this one. Of course my glue gun doesn't want to work. I leave it on too long. If you leave your glue sticks in too long, switched on, it doesn't want to work. So we can just... I know it's not silver on that, Jane, but I can paint over that. But it does look nice. With the black and cream. Like that. That's pretty, isn't it? Oh, I like that one and just stop her on the end. So that's your first one, love. I hope you like that one. Now, let's do another one. They're all ready, I've already sealed them. I just need to turn them over. Like that. Make sure we do both ends the same. Like that. Again, using the silver ones. Sorry. Right, what were I doing? Yeah, turn that one over. Sorry, that was Ray again. Um, so I just need to put this one on. Oops.
And then I think what I'm going to do is I have this trim, which is gorgeous. And I'm going to use this on here. I'm just going to start that off like that. Oh, that's gorgeous, Jane. Yeah, just have to be really careful with it. And make sure that it goes right up the centre. These will make fantastic gifts. I mean, we do still have people who read books. Just do so much at once. You need you don't need to do too much because you can make mistakes. You don't want to be marking the ribbon. Like that. And you just mark that off to the end. And then we'll snip that. Mm -hmm. I do apologise for my phone. It annoys the shit out of me. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it though. Right, I'm just going to see if I can trim that one down a little bit more. That's it. Seal that off. And then I've got that, so I'm going to put that on there. It is black, and I will probably put a touch of, um, you know, like a silver over it. Like that. So um, I've got some somewhere. Let me just get it, and you'll see it pop. I'm just using a rub and buff. This is Inca Gold. Uh, the name's Inca Gold by Viva, and I'm just using a rub and buff. And mine's dry, but wet your finger. Ugh, doesn't taste very nice. <laughs> you don't need much. And that will just pop like that. Like that. And that's silver. So I've got to just wipe my hands. I don't want that getting on the ribbon. So like I say, we've got that one. And that's pretty as well, isn't it? So you don't have to go overboard. You don't need to do too much to them. I think that's gorgeous, that one, actually. If you want me to put the same on that, Jane, when I put the video up, let me know, and I will. Because it might be nice that we you have a, a set that you can hang from the wall, put on a frame, whatever you want to do with them. Anyway, let's carry on. We'll do a couple more for you. Uh, Jane's the lady I did the egg for, if you remember. Now that's a smaller one, but that's fine. I'm not, not fussed about that. You can put any size you want on them. Just clamp it on like that. That's won't come off. That's done. So I think now we need to make something up. So let's have a look, see what we've got. Well, I've got this one, but I need some more pins. You can get a bit longer pin. And you can do, um, you know, join two or three together. So I'm just going to do, I'm going to make a tassel, Jane. So I'm going to do it with those, and you'll see that in a minute. Right, I need another black. A uh, small bit. Ah, there we are. Just got the roundel, diamante roundel. I'm going to pop that on there. I'm going to put a bead on it first. For this, we're going to use a crystal. And then pop that on. Yeah, so I like that. That's pretty. Now, do we need one of those that size? 
I mean, these are beautiful, beautiful beads. Don't like that. And it's all trial and error. I've got that for a stopper. See, it's just a flat black um, bead for a stopper. Oh, look at that. Now that's silver on one side and black on the other. Doesn't leave me enough room there though. So let's take the crystal off a minute. Swap them about until you're happy. I like that. That's great. And then I'm going to pop that on the end and join that in. And there you've got that. Now let's put the stopper on, which is a black. Oh, come on. There we go. The dry um, will come off. Right, what I need to find now is some more. And um, don't forget, I want to use that one as well. I'm going to use this. This is the one I'm going to use on this particular one. So I need lots and lots and lots and lots of glue. That's what's going to help stick. That's beautiful. Oh, yes. That's gorgeous, Jane. Yeah, I like that a lot. See? And you've got that coloured bead as well. Oh, that's another one. And I think what I'm going to do is put a little bit of... I've got another stopper. I need that one for the next one. Um, now, what did I have? I wanted a bit of bling. There we are. Just the flat back. Now, what I cut off a of jewellery. But perfect for this job. Just to bling it up right there. See? That's all you need. Give it that little bit of, oh, that's gorgeous, Pe um, you know, niceness. Now, I've got some black ribbon here, which is gathered. Uh, and I'm, what I'm going to do with this, let's get the ends done first. Yeah, I like that. Isn't that pretty? That's nice. And that's glass, Jane. It's absolutely gorgeous. Right, this time, I'm going to have to sew it onto here. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. So I want it, you know, to stay, if you know what I mean. And I'm going to take it back through. I've done one loop. I'm going to take it back through the... If I can get that the needle up there, yep, straight through there, just for safety. That's all. You're not going to see it really. So I'm going to do a few stitches to the right of the bead. One, two, three, and then move it across to the left. 
which will make sure that's in place. One, two, three. Then I'm going to go through all of the stitches if I can. See? Just go through them from one side to the other. There. Now what I'm going to do is just to catch this. And that is securely on there. And I'm just going to fasten my pin again, my needle. So there, we've got that. So we've got the page stopper on that end. And then we've got that beautiful, beautiful um, glass bead there, which is gorgeous. But I've got this. Now, what I want to do with it is I'm taking three pieces, more than I need, but, and I'm just going to glue those on like that. I do want that showing. Like that, and then we can seal that off. I had no need to waste. Shush! Joey, Lucky, come here. Lucky! Lay down. Lay down. It's because the neighbour's got somebody coming. Right. See, like that. I had no need to waste all of that, but hey-ho. So, I'm going to do that. Lucky! And then, that's the two layers there, but then I'm going to put a third layer underneath. Now, if, yeah, that's um, big enough. See, like that. So it's like a little bit of... Oh, that's gorgeous! It's just got to go on, hasn't it? When you find something that's really, really pretty, you have to use it. Now, I want something for here. Yeah, I'm going to put that on. Just here. Which is half a one, like that on the frill. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, if I'd have put that there and then turned that around, but it doesn't matter. You can have them any way you want. So there's another one for you, Jane. Gonna do one more. And then we'll do the organza one, I think. Clamp it in place on both sides. And now I can either do that. With, I want this because this is what's going to look nicer, I think. Perfect fit. 
E sometimes fee, you do surprise yourself, love. <laughs> Let's get one of these. Like that. And that has to go on there like that. Oh, yes. Yeah, definitely. No, that's wrong. I do. Oh, beautiful. Let me just see. Because there are others I can use. Oh, I could do that and then hang something from there. But that might take away the look of that, so I'm not going to do that. That's not silver enough. Hang on. Now I've got to put this on. Well, that flower's going on there. No, you need, you need it classy. I'm going to put one of those on. Because I just think you need them classy. And why not? More Fabergé than anything else. You know, more Russian royal. <laughs> That's it. And then what I'm going to do is I'll take that silver again. Wet my finger, why not? And I'm going to... That's it, perfect. That is what was missing. And now it's not as black as you thought. And look at it pop. My, my finger so that's that one Jane we get in there I'm gonna do you one more but I'm gonna do it in the chiffon
I'm not sure if I like that. I'm not, no, it does, it's too modern to go with that. We need vintage. So I'm going to take that off and pop that on, I think. Is that better? Yes, that's better. So we've got that one now. So let's have a look, see what we've managed to do. I don't want to trash my desk anymore. So we've got that one, that one, that one, that one. That one. Oh, I didn't realise I'd made so many for you, Jane. That one, and the first one, which I absolutely love, that one. Yeah. Jane, if you want them like this with this on, let me know on this video and I'll do them all the same to match, okay? And, um, I mean, you might not want them, but if you do want them, let me know. Thanks for watching. Take care. Speak to you all soon. Happy crafting. Bye-bye for now.